couple gentlemen whose names appear on <laughs> a more no, favorite no, players no, list no. than anybody else. But, <laughs> but. <laughs> Ini wala na, finish na. Perez once again drops his partner into quicksand. The crowd loving it. Dalawang meter tama ang gusto. Nani? Omae wa mou shindeiru. Django will get him out of jail. He is. And look at. And he's a little unlucky. Look at the crowd. Oh, I love that. Bye, Uncle Sam. Magandang araw mga kabilyan. Maganda na kayo dahil isang matinding palabas ang matutong haya natin ngayon. Ito ang World Cup of Bull 2007. Tatlong put dalawang bansa ang nakilahok upang makuha ang titulo ng prestigyosong World Cup of Bull Championship. At syempre, ang pambato ng Pilipinas. Ang dalawang nagigiting at world class players. Sila rin ang defending champion ng event na ito. Ang legendary tandem ng bansang Pilipinas. Sila ay walang iba kundi sina Efren Bata Reyes at Francisco Django Bustamante. We are defending champions, so we're gonna defend our uh, title, you know. I think we have no problem, just uh, work together. Bansang Croatia ang makakatunggali ng Pilipinas dito sa last 16 at second round ng event. I have the feeling that we have a lot to lose. We can go out of the tournament. Mali yung English mo. And uh, have a conversation in, in a, just a really, really... Hindi lang mo lukot lukot eh. They are the reigning and defending World Cup champions from the Philippines, Francisco Django Bustamante and Efren Bata Ria! Masar ko sa tega ko eh. From Croatia, it's Filip Stojanovic and Ivica Putni. Ang match na ito ay race to eight. Winners break ang patakaran. Kaya napaka-importante na makuha ang lag. Tingnan nyo kung saan nakalapag ang bola mano ng Pilipinas. Lumagpas ito sa side ng Croatia, kaya kahit lapit ito sa end rail, ito ay labag sa rules ng laro, kaya ito ang nangyari. He's got an unbelievable break. He's been clocked at the fastest in the world at 43 miles an hour. No, no, I win the lag. I win the lag. Demonte thought he'd won the lag. Which one? Philippines. Went no, he was here. Yeah? Was here. What? Your ball went over the middle of the table. Nagkaroon ng pagtatalo dito dahil akala ni Bustamante na nalo siya sa lag. Pero ayon sa patakaran, kailangang manatili ang bola mano sa particular side ng lamesa. At sa sitwasyong ito, sa right side dapat makalapag ang bola mano ng Pilipinas. Ngunit lumagpas ito sa midline kaya ito ay invalid. Bagay na hindi aware ang mga Filipino players. Ha? Kaya sa kanila? Oo nga, ito yung mamay. It is not, it's not allowed to go over the line. It, it must stay on your side of the table. So because it's, it's come over here, then they win the lag. Right? Yeah. I don't what know. What choice have they got? Yes, go ahead. I don't know. If you say so, you're the rap. Thank you. By default to Croatia. Pagkatapos maipaliwanag ng referee, ang Croatia na ang unang nag-break. To play a hand early. I believe that's... Dry break ang Croatia, kaya ang Pilipinas na ang magpapatuloy sa unang rack na ito. She is. Funny how it goes. The Philippines found no humor in it. Picking out the seeded Russian pair. 
hindi mo talaga masisisi kung nag-complain ng mga Pinoy dahil sa dami ng salihan nilang palaro ay hindi pa nila na-experience ang anong klaseng patakaran. Yes, the last time Reyes missed a pot like that, the internet hadn't been invented. Philippines draw first blood despite the lag confusion. Punta na tayo sa pangalawang rack. Si Efren ang magbe-break. In the last match, Martin Morris tried to slow roll a four and he felt it went off and that would have been the direction it went off. Dalawang bola ang nakuha sa break. No, 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 no. Sayang naman, naman. Sayang at magaling pa naman na kombinasyon sa kasamaang palad na scratch pa ito. Isang positional error ng Team Croatia. Nagamit sila ng jump cue upang masolusyonan ito. Muntik na sanang pumasok, ngunit na double kiss ng bola mano. Tingnan natin kung anong balak ng dalawang henyong Pinoy. the billiard here Phil he is <laughs> naging agresibo at kinarambola ni Efren ng Otso napakagaling talaga ng magician Lamang na ng dalawa ang mga Pinoy. 2-0. Punta na tayo sa Rack 3. <laughs> Nag safety play sana si Efren ngunit na scratch ito. Malaking pagkakataon nito sa Croatia upang makahabol. And trying to load it up with spin is what created that mess. All for so many players. Nakakailang kasi mukha mo. And that's perfect speed. Isang malupit na kick safety shot galing kay Bustamante. Fantastic shot from Bustamante. Ang mga Pinoy na yata ang pinakamagagaling pagdating sa kick shots. Failed to capitalize. That's losing the scoreline. Now reads 3-0. Napaka-impressive ng performance ng mga Filipino players. Tatlo ka agad ang lamang nila. In the way of nine ball. Ito na ang Rack 4. Isang bola ang nakuha nila sa break. It's going to be Japan against Holland A team. Wow. Everyone will be sticking around for that one, but this one hurt him playing this shot. Queuing down steeply. Hit it too hard. A little too much adrenaline. You can see him. He's... <laughs> 
Seven, and leave the one to the same pocket. Dahil sa magaling na depensa ni Bustamante sa uno, na foul ang Croatia at nabawi nila ang control sa rack na ito. Ang Pilipinas ang kampiyon sa event na ito noong nakaraang taon ang 2006 World Cup of Pool. Si Efren at Django din ang tandem noon. Tinalo nila ang United States sa finals 13 to 5. Given a cue as soon as they're old enough to stand. Reyes and Bustamante, the top seeded defending champions. Ito na ang Rock 5. Magaling na pagka-break ni Bustamante. Napaka-spread out ng mga bola sa Rock na ito. Maiintindihan natin sa larong ito na kung sino ang nagkocontrol sa break, siya ang nagkocontrol sa game. At sa pagkakataong ito, ang Pilipinas ang nakakalamang. Pag winners break talaga, mahirap talunin ang Pilipinas. Rack number six. Oh, he's lost the white. Straight into that side pocket. The first hiccup. Mukhang pinagbigyan ni Efren ang mga taga Croatia. Dahil na-scratch ito sa break. Ito na ba ang pagkakataong hinihintay ng Croatia? Ilang beses nang sinayang ng Croatia ang bawat pagkakataong binabato ng Pilipinas. Magaling naman ang pinakita ng Croatia sa round 1 at hinalo nila ang Team Russia. Punta na tayo sa Rock 7. Napakaganda ng Rock na ito kaya maghanda na kayo. Well, that was played as a shot to nothing. He position. Well, that's another story. Well, he had to force that, and you could hear the cue rubbing against the mic. Ang paglike ninyo sa video ng ito ay mahalaga na po sa min. Maraming salamat po. Was the only way he's going to get back. Acceptance of defeat. Well, they're going to get another chance. He's not the best in the world. He just hit that a bit too hard. The Philippines just put you under so much pressure. <laughs> Pansin ninyo ang tira ni Efren sa 5 dito. If it was 6-6, do you think he'd be smiling after this shot, Phil? Nope. He's got such an endearing personality at the table, hasn't he? Kayla 
Dan can smile about that one. The nine into the side. For seven nil. And the nine deposited into the side pocket. That was a that was definitely a wreck to remember from the Filipino stars, and they know it. A little bit of magic on display here. Seven nil. Rack number eight. And that's the last break you're going to see from the... Grabe talaga ang entertainment. Nadala ng Filipino players. It's just been fantastic, hasn't it? Yes, it's been one-sided, but who cares? Let's be frank about this. Everyone's come to see the Philippines. Well, even the Croatians might have to agree with you. I think they came to watch the Philippines, too. Reyes probably teasing Bustamante and saying, well, let's see if I can make life difficult for you yet again. Just a handful of pots away from the quarterfinals. Try and stick this into the side. Off two cushions, develop the five. And look at this. He's dropped right where he needed to be. He's now got the five. And lest us so these guys are in perfect sync. Philippines, eight racks without reply. Croatia had a couple chances, but it was an entertaining performance from start to finish. The tournament's best, the top seeds, the defending champion. Nanalong ang Pilipinas sa match na ito na hindi man lang pinascore ang Croatia, 8-0. Nakapasok ang Pilipinas sa quarterfinals, ngunit natalo sila ng Team China 9-6. Kalaunan, naging overall champion din ang China sa World Cup of Pool 2007. Kung ikaw ay solid fan ni Efren Reyes, wala ka ng dahilan upang hindi mag-subscribe. Maraming salamat po sa panonood mga kabilyar! Hanggang sa muli, paalam!